This is the homework for lesson 16. This is module eight of second grade. Please remember to get your name on there. Take care of that first thing. How much time has passed from two o'clock to eight o'clock? Well, I mean, you can count this up in your head, right? From two o'clock to eight o'clock, you're just counting hours because you can see that the minutes are the same. So we don't have to add any minutes. We just have to add hours. So that's 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock. That's uh, 6 hours, right? So 6, and we have to write our units. You can't just write 6 because it could be 6 minutes unless you say. It could be 6 days or weeks or months. There's lots of different units for measuring time. 7.30 to... AM and that's 7 30 in the morning until noon 12 o'clock so think about this if you have we need to first thing we have to do is get rid of the since you have we have to end up at 12 o'clock we're gonna have to need we're gonna need 30 minutes first and that'll get us to 8 o'clock and then we can just add hours from there and from 8 to 12 you could just subtract 12 minus 8 and that's 4 so Four, uh, but we can't write that's not a time that's a time of day it's not how much time has passed so that's four hours and 30 minutes is what we want to write we can't write 4 30 because that's a time of day so let me just fix this we want four hours thirty minutes you could also call it four and a half hours you could do that too, because 30 minutes here would be a half hour. 10 o'clock to 4.30 p.m. So this is a.m. going to p.m. So be careful with this. Um, first, t think about the hours from 10. You have some examples of clocks down here. You can practice on them if you want. So you think 10 in the morning, right? So that's going to go, I'm going to use this clock right here. And I'm going to have to erase the stuff that I use on it because I'm going to write all over it. Uh, but that's what pencils are for and what erasers are for. And maybe you don't need to do this. Uh, but here, I'm going to just need something to show how I'm thinking about this. If I start at 10 and I'm going to count up hours, 10 in the morning to 4.30 in the afternoon. So it's 10 in the morning. Okay, 11. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. So how many hours is that? Because I have to get to 4 o'clock first and then add 30 minutes. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hours. And then I need 30 more minutes. To get to from 4 o'clock to 4.30. Let me erase that. And maybe you don't need the clock to look at, or you could draw a number line that can help too, or you you can just count it up in your head or with your fingers or something. So let's see, we're going, this is PM to PM. So it's 1.30 to 8.30. Now we don't, the minutes are both 30 minutes. So we're not going to add any minutes. It's going to go from here, like about the middle, right? So it's going to go 1.30. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, you know, 8 minus 1 to get 7, and 30 minus 30, but you please don't do this. This is something that as soon as you notice that, and everybody, most everybody will eventually, I will see a lot of students write this and try to subtract it vertically and say, oh, well, 30 minus 30, that's 0. 3 minus 3 is 0. 8 minus 1 is 7. And then you get an answer of 7 o'clock. But you're not trying, you can't subtract times of day like that to get hours. 
what you get is a time of day. And then you can't really subtract times of day like that because there's going to be situations where it doesn't work. So please don't subtract times of day vertically. And if you want me to explain why that doesn't work, put it in the comments. Make a comment and ask, ask me to explain it, and I'll make another video that explains why it doesn't work. Nine thirty to two nine thirty AM to two o'clock PM. So here we go using a clock if I start and here you we can see I'm gonna need I'm gonna need 30 minutes because it's gonna take me to go from 930 to 10 it's gonna take me 30 minutes so I need 30 minutes and then I'm going from that's and that's my 30 minutes here right and then I need to get to 2 o'clock p.m. so that's one, two, three, four, four hours. And so the, here's an example right here of how it wouldn't work. If I took 930 and subtracted two o'clock, what would I get? I get seven and a half hours instead of four hours 30 minutes and really this wouldn't be seven and a half hours it would be 7 30 which is a time of day not four hours and minutes so there's a list lots and lots of other reasons too and I, if you want i'll explain it because there's even more reasons why it just doesn't work all right now we're just looking at clocks and we have to figure out the time and say how much time is passing between the two times of day. So first thing we got to do is figure out what time it is in between the four and the five. That's four something. And this is right down here at the six. So it's 430 p.m. to this is in between nine and ten. So it's 930 p.m. And this is from p.m. to p.m., so we don't have to worry about going across noon, which messes everything up. So that's 4, right, because then it would be 4.30, 5.30, 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, 9.30. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hours. And then this is straight up 7 o'clock. And this is in between the 10 and the 11, so it's 10 something. And this minute hand tells me it's 1030. Make that, let me make that look like a 10 instead of a 16. Uh, military time, 1630. And that looks like a 6. So let me just clean this up and stop rushing. Okay, 7 to 1030. So it's going to go 8. 9, 10, and then we're going to have, the, that's going to be the 30 minutes to get to 10. So it's 1, 2, 3 hours and 30 minutes. Or 3 and a half hours. And now this is in between, this is something 30, because it's pointed many hands at the 6. Our hand is in between the 11 and the 12, so it's 11.30. And this is 2 o'clock, right? Because that's the hour hand is 2, and that's straight up 0, 0 minutes. So it's 2. So we have 11.30 a.m. to 2 o'clock p.m. So 11.30, right? It's going to take us half an hour to get to noon, and then one, two more hours from there. So that's two and a half hours or two hours and 30 minutes. Kyle started basketball practice at 2.30 and finished at 6 o'clock. How long was, oh, Kylie, not Kyle, Kylie. How long was Kylie at basketball practice? 
So this is elapsed time is what we call this. So we have to figure out how much time is in between 2.30 and 6. We were just practicing that, weren't we? We just did a whole page of that. So this is the same thing, but it's just in a word problem. What's going to help you, what always helps me at least, is draw a clock. 12, 3, 6, and 9. And then I do, then I need a 4 and a 5 here. And a 1 and a 2 here. And a 7 and an 8 here. And a 10 and an 11. There's my clock. So I have to go from 2.30, which is right about here, to 6 o'clock. So I'm going to need a half hour. And then 1, 2, 3 whole hours. And there, that pit, there's my math picture. That uh, so, Right? Because it's a word problem. So I read it. I drew my picture. And I'm going to write my answer statement. Carly was at practice for three and one half hours. Jamal spent four and a half hours at his family picnic. It started at 1.30. What time did he leave? Okay, so now we know what time his picnics. Now, this is the reading part, right? So we know what time. What do we know in our story? Jamal's our main character. He goes to a family picnic. We know how long he's there. We know what time he got there. We don't know what time he left. So we have to do a start at the time he got there count up and then that will tell us what time he leaves wherever we end up drawing my clock face this is really the best strategy for doing these kinds of problems in second grade i think it's the best one i have found if you know a better one leave it in the comments please let's see jamal spent four and a half okay started at 1 30. So 1.30 is right here, halfway between the 1 and the 2. Right, right about there. So we need four and a half hours. Well, I'm going to take the half hour first, because then that will get me to 2 o'clock. And then I can just count up hours, right? So there's my half hour. And now I need four, uh, four whole hours. So that's 2 o'clock now. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4. So he left at 6 o'clock. And we can write PM, right? Because they, they gave us that. And I could, uh, let's see. Okay, good. And in our first one, we don't need to say AM or PM because we're talking about how much time, not what time, well, not what time of day. So Christopher spent two hours doing his homework. He finished at 5.30. What time did he start? So, like, this is kind of a weird time machine problem because we know when he finished and we know how long it took, but we have to go backwards in time. Uh, to figure out what time he started. So there's the clock. 12, 6, 3, 9, 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11. Okay, so he finished at 5.30. So it's right here, halfway in between the five and the six and he spent two hours so we have to go backwards in time two hours so that's 5 30 so we go back to 4 30 and then 3 30 so right there and it's p.m don't forget it. All right. Henry slept from 8 o'clock p. 
p.m. to 6.30 a.m., how many hours did Henry sleep? All right, here's our clock. 12, 3, 6, and 9. There's 1 and 2, 4 and 5, 7 and 8, 10 and 11. So he starts at 8 o'clock right here. And that's 8 at night. And he goes until 6.30 in the morning. Which is, boy, that's a pretty good night's sleep for a second grader. Um, let's see. Some like a little bit more, some a little bit less. Uh, let's just count it up. All right, so 8. So we're starting at 8, and that's 1 hour to 9. And then 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, and there's 30 minutes. So how many hours is that? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and and 30 minutes. So 10 and a half hours. Slept. Ten and one half hours.